Here's an update from Bonnock. Wait, let me unplug my thing here. So, let me see how that will be the best. Here we are in lovely Sisaket province, Amper Muang. Um, pretty close to the center of town, but maybe one and a half kilometers just outside. And we are at uh, my wife's aunt's property. It's um, it's pretty big. We've got bamboo and all kind of green. I mean, it's probably about a, an acre uh, in English terms. I don't know what that is in rye, but um, it's a f like four bedroom, two bath house. Uh, huge porches. Wait, I'll show you. Here's my workspace. <laughs> We've got like six, six to eight dogs in the place, depending who's here when, what's here when. And uh, I guess I'll just give you a rundown, I guess. Um, people that own this house uh, passed away in a car accident about it's almost three years ago now. And they left this house, you know, to their son. Their son is in Bangkok. Um, my wife's brother lives here now, and then also the mom does sometimes, new, my wife's mom, and to take care of the house, you know, because there's there's chickens, there's rabbits, there's dogs, um, there's tons of, of plants and everything to take care of every day. Uh, grandma's out in the yard, like, cutting with a, with a machete. Where's the machete? Oh, she must have taken it. Cutting with the machete, chopping down stuff. And, you know, everybody has something to do here. So, a typical day is like, I wake up pretty early in the morning. I wake up about 20 after six. Hopefully get out here on the porch by 6.30 so I have at least a couple hours to write and do my work. Um, I w it's, it's only like 10 o'clock right now in the morning and it's freaking hot. It's, it's probably 37 or 38. Today's probably the hottest day we've had but there is some wind. I don't know if you can hear it on the, on the microphone there. I hope not. But there's some wind, which doesn't really help. To, you know, wind with hot air. I have this super strong fan blowing down there on the, um, on the floor, but it's, it's not helping all that much. I'm, I'm starting to sweat. I'm like shiny sweat. You can see like on my shoulder. It's just a little bit of shiny sweat there. I usually stay here until I can eat and then I go to Big C to sit in one of the coffee shops so that I can get some more work done, a couple hours maybe, but then I get tired of that because just so many people there. Everybody's coming to escape the heat, so they don't want to run their own air conditioner. They just go to Big C or, or Tesco and just, and just uh, use their AC, right? It's funny to see everybody walking around. Oh boy. It's funny to see everybody walking around and uh, I gotta throw something at that dog. That's the one that's trying to impregnate the, uh, the other dogs around the place. And usually I throw one of these with a little bit of water in it. Because it... And that got all the dogs running instead of the one. Well, he's running too, but... It's a constant battle here with the dogs. There's one dog, black and white dog. It's not here right now. Why? Because I chased it for about 25 minutes yesterday all around the entire complex. Uh, and the complex is probably half a mile by a half a mile wide, half a mile long by wide. And uh, huge, right? I'm just chasing on the motorbike and cussing at it and swearing at it because it, it has gone for, it had bit, it bit one of the old ants legs, it bit the young boy's leg. It went after uh, the young boy yesterday, it went after my daughter a number of times, went after me on the motorbike, even after I had, I had thrown stuff at it and uh, swung my stick at it, I never hit it, it's too fast. But, uh, you know, for days I've done that, and still it's, it's like attacking people, so it's a horrible scene. Um, anyway, so yeah, I got a big seat. After that, I want to take my daughter to the park, so we go to um, one of like six parks. There's a lot of parks here in Sisaket, which is pretty cool. So we choose one of those. I walk around in circles where I can see the park while my daughter and, and this other boy plays. 
and then uh, they get some exercise. I get some exercise. My buddy Vince is here from Netherlands, so that's really cool. We have some good conversations. Um, we then drop the kids off back here at the house. We go and eat, he and I, usually at the night market or somewhere else. We go get coffee, then we go out for a snake hunt. And last night we found one snake. I was just lucky to see it on the road because it was on the opposite side of the highway and uh, just just decided to, to flip around and see it because I thought it was maybe a dead one that we had seen the day the night before. But no, it's a live uh, Homolopsis bucata. It's a uh, water snake. What do they call it? I can't remember the common name anymore. Puff-faced water snake. Yeah. And uh, so then we go out herping for a couple hours. We haven't found anything the last three nights except this this one. We found a lot of dead um, keelback snakes, uh, checkered keelbacks. Uh, saw some other wildlife but not much we saw an owl last night baby like i don't know if baby or full grown or what but a small owl about as big as my head my long head here um we saw some lizards we saw some skinks we saw some some oh we saw a dog last night we, it's just really quite bad it's just so damn dry right now that nothing is really stirring so that's it sometimes we go have a beer and then i come home about midnight so that's life in the uh, sticks here grandma's going back to bon Nock, like true bon Nock. this is like on the border of a town right she's going back to the village uh for a couple of days and then we'll pick her up later after sun i guess uh vince and i are going to go to a national park i think it's national it might just be a park and we're going to herp down there by a waterfall, which is probably dry, but I think it's our best chance to find something. There's a lot of uh, forest there, so hopefully we'll find something. Um, plan on being here for a while yet. Not really sure. Still not sure whether we're going to try to live in Isan or we're going to uh, move back to where we were. It's pluses and minuses for both. Not really sure. Anyway, that's it daughter is smiling at me from the door up there <laughs> oh we have a rat problem I have rat the sticky rat traps in the gutters here because uh, they come from that hole in the corner there caught four the first day uh, that stuff sticks them pretty good I didn't think it would work but it sticks them real good so we got rid of four of them but then literally there could be a hundred up there uh, we hear them running across the bedroom ceilings and stuff. Nobody ever took it upon themselves to like take care of the problem, so I did. I don't know if there's more. I, I really hope not. I hope there's only four, but I haven't heard any for a while, so <laughs> possible. That's it. That's the update from Bon I uh, hope you are not sweating nearly as bad as we are here. And I think the rain's on the way. We have some clouds building every now and then. So, uh, Songkran is in like two days, I think it is. And Vince and I hopefully will be at the park and escaping all that nonsense. Because we've both already been through it. I don't really like it at all. I think he likes it maybe more than I do. All right. Have a good day. Have a good Songkran. Stay safe driving. We'll be on motorbikes, unfortunately. Wife will have the car, though. And, uh, just try to get through another one. All right. Cheers.